Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm doing unboxing and a setup on this Drew Barrymore beautiful, this is called the Perfect Grind Coffee Maker. Now this is on. This is at Walmart uh, for $99. It comes in about three or four colors, just released. I got the white one, so I'm, I have not opened it up yet. So let's unbox it. Let's see exactly what comes in the box. Now I am pretty excited about this coffee maker. Um, because you're going to have to have whole bean coffee that you're going to grind and then you're ready to go. A little on the big side. All right, let's take the plastic off. We got a bunch of tape. We got a bunch and bunch of tape. Okay, it's look, it looks really nice. We've got a water reservoir on the back that's removable. Now there's a bunch of stuff that goes that's in the water reservoir, looks like. It's like they're giving us a filter. So this looks like a pretty nice water reservoir. Slides on the back. Some more tape. What comes in this bag? It looks like a oh, carbon water filter. These can be tricky to find, so hopefully it's a pretty common size. Looks like maybe it might be a Cuisinart uh, water filter. Nice manual, quick start guide, a scoop and a brush. Anytime you uh, have like a grinder, there's usually a brush that goes along with it. Okay, some more tape. I do like these apparent these do look really nice now i've been kind of critical of some of her other coffee makers um but so far this one but i've never been critical of her of the of the appearance of the coffee maker i've always thought the coffee makers look really nice got this lid this looks like where you're going to put the coffee beans this slides out We've got like a coffee filter in here probably going to grind the coffee in here a tray, yeah, it looks like the tray comes out. Oh, and the tray, you can move the tray. And the display. So the display you can't see right now, but we got this nice cord. We're gonna plug the cord in. And Miss Fiona has joined us today. Okay, so the carbon water filter, you don't need the carbon water filter installed for the machine to work. This is gonna help with your, have, uh, your water tastes like chlorine or kind of smells like chlorine. It's gonna help with that. So here we have this holder. Now what I did is I soaked this in water for about five minutes and then I run cold water over for about 30 seconds. So there's some dust inside here you gotta get off. Then you're gonna put it into the carbon water filter holder, snap it closed. Here's my water tank. Then you're going to put it in here and you want to make, you can't let it float. You got to put it right in that holder for it right there. So let's go over some measurements really quick. So height wise, you're looking at 14 and a half. Now this comes off, but there's nothing that lifts up front to back. You're looking at about 13 inches. It's got a 35 inch long two prong cord left to right. You're looking at about five inches. Let's take a look at the bottom. I did hear some suction cups. So on the back, there are suction cups and it is 1000 watts, 120 volts, 1000 watts. And again, this slides out. We're gonna take close up looks of all of this. The display, I've already turned some lights off. The display, I plugged it in. It is a little, um, the display is a little dim. Up here is the grinder. We can take this grinder top off down here. Uh, I'm gonna show you all that really close up, but now, the next thing, so let's put this back on, priming the water tank. I do this on all coffee makers. I've got my water reservoir full. There's like a little track for this to slide on now. Now, lift this up and down about 10 times. You know, it doesn't say to do this in the manual, but I find that it helps prime coffee makers, especially single serve coffee makers. 
it's just going to push water through here, get the pumps nice and primed so that things kind of work a lot better. I especially do this on Keurigs. There. Just a very simple prime the pump. Now let's take some close-up looks and we'll actually make some coffee with it. And I will be using my Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can purchase it right below the, the video. You will see where you can purchase this or you can go to justadadcoffee.com. That's where you're also able to purchase it. It is a Brazilian dark roast with hints of dark chocolate notes. Now, I don't necessarily take the taste of dark chocolate, but it's kind of a medium to dark roast that just is really smooth and tastes good. Okay, when you first plug it in, the display is a little hard to see. Okay, I've turned some lights off. So when I first plug it in, it's beep or it's um, flashing at me. We gotta set the time. So let's set the time. So right now it is 11. Okay, so once you've got the hour set, hit the delay and then it's gonna go to the minutes. Now hit the hour to pick the minutes. Make sure you've got either AM or PM. Then hit the delay brew and it will set the time. Now this is the display. Now they do want you to wash this all up before you first use it. So I would, I would just rinse this out really quick. This is the gold tone. This is a reusable filter. It is metal, but make sure you rinse all this out, put it back together, and you should rinse the water reservoir out too before you fill it up with water. Kind of just give it a quick, quick rinse. Again, put this back and this slides in. Okay, so let's take a closer look up here at the grinder. This is really easy. This is just a little cover. You just turn to the left and it comes off. There's the grinder. We can lift this up, turn that to the left, and it comes up. Now it does look like it's a conical burr grinder. Now to put it back in, there's like a notch, and then turn it to the right till you hear it click. Looks like the handle will go either way. Put this in, there's that little notch is gonna line up right there, and turn it. This is where you're going to put it does say to remove this. This is where you're going to put the whole bean coffee. All right, so let's add some whole bean coffee. I like that my bags are resealable. Then you simply just dump the whole bean coffee right up here at the top. And so this just sets on top like that. All right, let's go over to the display. We can go an 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, 14 ounce, 16 ounce or a six ounce. So we wanna pick the size. We can do bold, we can do over ice, or if there's nothing displayed, that's just a normal cup of coffee. So three modes of operation. We can turn the grinder off and add our own coffee to the filter basket. So you could put your, you could put some ground coffee right here inside that filter basket and then make your own coffee by turning the grinder off. See, so it'll say grinder off, but we want the grinder on. You can set the delay brew. So you can program this by pressing that button. What time do you want it to come on in the morning? And you'll see the delay brew, but I want to turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to do a standard eight ounce. I've got the grinder on, and I'm just going to hit brew. Looks like there's a status bar letting us know. I can kind of hear the water boiling a little bit. Now it should grind the coffee and then brew our cup of coffee. Yep, so I hear it grinding. So it grinds the proper amount, and it, I'm sure it put it in that basket. Yeah, freshly ground coffee smells so good. I can smell the freshly ground coffee even before it's brewing. Okay, so now I can, the water is starting to boil. I can hear that it's putting it over the coffee grounds. Now again, this is the first cup of coffee, so there might be some air in the lines or something. It may not give us the proper eight ounces. I can hear like a pump coming on. Okay, so the coffee is starting to come out. It smells really good. Now if any time I wanted to cancel it, I would just hit the brew off button right now. Okay, so it sounds like it stopped brewing. The coffee has stopped dripping, but it hasn't beeped at us. Let's know that it's done yet. 
Okay, so it beeped at us. That took a while because it wants to, even though it stopped brewing, it lasted about a minute, minute and a half before it stopped, it beeped at us because it wants to let it kind of drip. All right, let's give it a taste. Okay, so I have to add just a little bit of cream and sugar to it. Let's give it a taste. Okay, yeah, that's a really good cup of coffee. Now let's see how it does up here. Again, I've got the light. I got pretty bright lights on. You can't see the display. But let's slide this out. All right, looks like we got some coffee grounds back there. It shoots them into here, looks like. All right, let's take the, again, this can be careful. Be careful, this can be hot. All right, there's, you were gonna rinse that out. This is where it grinds it into. All right. Yeah, it looks like it does a fairly decent job grinding. All right, so something I'm noticing, it does have drip stop. I don't know if there's a lever in there that can move that or if that just... So yeah, when you take this out, that causes the drip stop. Yeah, and then when you put it in, it's gonna push it up. So I don't think there's a machine in there that does that. Okay, so if you're not used to drinking coffee out of a reusable filter, you do get just a little bit of sediment in your coffee towards the end. If you let your coffee sit there, right at the very end, you will notice a little bit of sediment. Now, it's not coffee grounds like for say in your coffee, but there's a little bit of sediment. Now, if you're not, and again, if you're not used to this cleanup was, you know, it, cleanup is a lot more on than on a traditional coffee maker. You gotta first empty out, the coffee grounds are wet, you gotta empty it out. Then you got to rinse this out so you do inevitably get some coffee grounds into your uh, sink. You got to rinse this out, but it all fits together really well. Again, I'm a little concerned about this area up here. So I definitely want to use this for a while because I want to see how much of a mess it's always going to make. But again, I can put my own coffee grounds. So if you only have pre-ground coffee, just put it in here. You have a scoop. You're going to put basically one scoop for every they give you a little chart. So two scoops for six ounces, two and a half scoops for eight ounces. That's if you've got your own pre-ground coffee. And again, make sure you turn the grinder off. All in all, it fits together really well. I am pretty excited about using this. Now this does have a clean indicator to let you know when it is time to clean it and run some vinegar through it. Okay, more sizes. So with the drip tray, you're looking at about five inches. Again, we can take this drip tray out. So with the drip tray out, you're looking at exactly seven inches. Seven inches, you know, front to back, you're looking at about five inches there. So I do think the coffee tastes really good. Now, anytime you can grind your coffee right before you brew it, it's definitely gonna make the coffee taste better. Okay, I like to look at the box art. Um, pretty much, yeah, no pods. Use your, you can use whole bean or pre-ground, but this, this one that caught my eye was this extracts 2x more flavor with extra, ex, exact extract technology. They don't really go into what exactly that is. Now, on the Walmart website, it does say that it will, compared to the Keurig K Classic with a Dunkin' Donuts on 10 ounces. So that might be a little misleading because with a K-cup, K-cups can only hold two tablespoons of coffee, where this one, it can probably grind a little bit more coffee for a 10 ounce, because I normally brew my 10 ounce, well, I brew, I brew my K-cup on eight ounces to get the proper strength, but, so that might be a little misleading. I mean, this is definitely better, I mean, I like this better than a K-cup, because you can, whatever button you press, you know, from six, six all the way to 16 it i hopefully it's going to grind more coffee in there for the proper amount of water that you're running through it so that is a very nice feature now i'm gonna have to play around with this with the iced coffee it says it brews the proper strength so it probably brews less water um, for an iced coffee okay let's actually brew an iced coffee now the brewer does turn off so turn it on let's do uh Let's do an over. Now the bold brew, I'm sure it just slow, it, it slows the water going down through the coffee to extract more flavor. Let's do over ice. Let's do, I got a tumbler here. Let's do about a, let's do a 10 ounce and see what we get. So it's grinding the coffee again. 
you know that's not super loud either i've heard i've had a lot louder grinders than that so in the morning that's going to be that's not super loud and let's time this one let's see exactly how long it takes you know i do think it might be putting some hot water onto the coffee grounds and pausing i think it is pausing that's pretty nice if it is it's going to let the coffee bloom and then it continues the, the brew again this is an over ice i did notice that pause on a normal cup of coffee also now you could brew this right into the tumbler but i want to see how many ounces it's brewing now the coffee coming out of there is about 177 and rising 175 178 Okay, I love, you can turn the beeps off. So press and hold the grinder off button and the brew off button until the mute indicator, which is a bell with a line through it appears. So I love that you can turn the beeps off. Okay, so that took about three and a half minutes. Let's see exactly how much it brewed. So I did a 10 ounce and yeah, it's gonna brew half. So it brewed five ounces. So that's a concentrated coffee. Now, when I dump it into this, it's really hot. That's going to melt the ice and give you the proper dilution. Add your milk and your syrup, and you've got a really nice iced coffee. So I imagine that's going to hold true for uh, all the settings. It's going to brew half. So if you go up to the 16 ounce, it'll brew eight ounces. So make when typically when they have the eight, the um, the over ice, you know, I like less over ice, more milk and more syrup. So I would probably do an eight ounce, or maybe even a six ounce, which is only three ounces of coffee. Add my syrup. So just play around with what taste you like. Um, probably definitely going to do at least an eight or a six ounce for my iced coffee. That's a lot of coffee for an iced coffee because I have to add, I usually add about that much milk. And let's open it up again. Let's see again how it did. And here's the coffee. Looks like it did put a little bit more coffee grounds in there. So there's where the hot water comes out. Looks like it hits this lid and then it is kind of directed to give a nice shower head to, to saturate the coffee grounds in more than one spot. So I'm pretty excited to start using this machine. Again, the coffee did taste really good. Again, grinding your own coffee. Be sure and check out my Just a Dad Simple Sip. This is dark roast. Um, it tasted really good in this machine. I will put a link to this. I am a Walmart affiliate. Right now, I'm only seeing this at Walmart. This is typically sold at Walmart. Sometimes they do pop up on Amazon, but they're usually more expensive. $99 at Walmart, about four colors. Wish the display was a little brighter, but could be just because of all my studio lighting. So again, underneath the video, I'll put a link to this where you can buy this off Walmart. I am a Walmart affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. I did buy this with my own money and I was not paid for this video. So again, if you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So thanks everybody for watching my video today. Underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, you can purchase all this coffee right below the video. You'll see links to them or go to justadadcoffee.com. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Recently, YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That would not be possible without everybody's support. So again, I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new adventure, branding my own coffee. Um, it, it tastes really good, and I hope you're going to definitely like it again. Hoping somebody asks you what your favorite cup of coffee is. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. And again, thanks so much for watching the YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with my products, I do a free giveaway on there. And you can kind of see behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Also, check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad podcast. This is where I interview different people. I love to hear everybody's story, and I just think everybody has a story they want to tell. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and thanks so much. Miss Fiona always knows when I'm doing a recording. <laughs>